interfere with Lin Kuei business. Leave, or face our wrath. Abandon Madame Bo. Not happening. <laughs> <laughs> Incompetent. Oh, that works. I have had enough of you. Then go before I put you down like the rest of your Lin Kuei. You haven't a prayer against the Lin Kuei's Grand Master. Are you sure you're a Grand Master? Interesting. Hung Lao! Over here! Madame Bo. She's out cold. Oh no, is she... Dead? Not yet. Madame Bo! How are you... Hung Lao! So, Madame Bo, are they ready? A bit thick in the head, perhaps. But they are ready. His eyes are glowing. I am Lord Liu Kang, God of Fire, and Protector of Earthrealm. God? Earthrealm? Madame Bo has been preparing you for this moment since you were boys. Today, you have proven worthy of joining my champions. This fight was... Test. Of your ability and character, yes. Li Han, Kui Liang. So, these two aren't thugs? The Lin Kuei is a centuries-old clan dedicated to Earthrealm's defense. You keep saying Earthrealm. Don't you mean Earth? You boys have so much to learn. Earth is only a part of Earthrealm. Earthrealm itself is one of many realms. Together, they comprise the whole of the universe. The realms can be fierce, bitter rivals. That's why we need champions to defend ours. The time draws near for the Grand Martial Arts Tournament between Earthrealm and the Realm of Outworld. Held once each century, it allows each realm to demonstrate its strength. While our realms are at peace, there are Outworlders who would prefer us to be at war. Our victory in the tournament will temper their zeal. I've taught you everything I can. You must finish your training with Lord Liu Kang. More training? These two couldn't defeat us. <laughs> <laughs> what? They were pulling their punches. Had we not held back, he would not have survived. Come. The monks at the Wuxi Academy await to continue your tutelage. I am ready, Lord Liu Kang. And you, Raiden? Leave Feng Jian? I'm needed here. Earthrealm needs you, Raiden. You'll best serve the village by being one of its champions. I understand. Excellent. I will join you soon. First, there are other champions I must gather. What in the actual fuck? Good evening, Johnny Cage. I am Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. May we enter? 
Uh, nothing's being shot here tonight. Uh, you sure you're in the right place? Yes. We come on a matter of grave importance. We must speak to you and your guest. What? How do you know about him? Because I am the god of fire. Chris, you vixen. Nicely done. Sure. I, I come right in. Glowing eyes are a nice touch. Kenshi Takahashi. A tragic figure with a noble cause. Your actions this evening do you no credit. Who are these people? You tell me. They're <laughs> your scene partners. I also know of your struggles, Johnny Cage. I am here to offer you both a path forward. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> oh, come on, guys, let's call this. Chris was a doll to set this up, but as pranks go, this one's a bit obvious. This is no prank. Iha, Kualiang, if you please. All right, all right. <laughs> I'll play my part in this uh, martial arts LARP. The missus ought to get what you paid for. Uh. <clears throat> okay. Uh. Hey, you. Uh, wait, wait. Hey, you. Get your damn hands off him. I said, get your hands off him. <laughs> <laughs> Was that necessary, brother? To put him in his place. That was a Hicholi. One of a kind. All right, I don't care if this is a damn prank. You cross the line. Fight. <laughs> and scene. I hope you're insured, because you're paying for my Hicholi. Imbecile. You have no idea with whom you're dealing. Enough! Ah... Uh, that's no special effect. Indeed, Johnny Cage. Kuai Liang. Okay, let's go back to one here. Who are you again? Lord Liu Kang, protector of Earthrealm. God of fire. Well, that last one tracks, but what's an Earth realm? All will be explained, Johnny Cage. For now, what is important is that you both have been chosen to join its champions. Why him? Or me, for that matter. Because I have faith that you will rise to the challenge, and because your service will change the arcs of your lives. Expected to linger. Patience, Bihan. There are many demands on Liu Kang's attention. Were he here, Father would advise us to wait without protest. But now he is gone, and I am Grand Master. His teachings did not pass with him. They should still guide us. Guide us, yes. Shackle us, no. We can't abandon tradition. Mind your place, Tomas. Father may have taken you in made you one of us, but your blood will never be Lin Kuei. Lord Liu Kang can see you now. It is about time. Shang Tsung is here, at the ruins of Ying Fortress. His soul stealers are already under construction. You must destroy them, and capture Shang Tsung before either can inflict harm upon Earthrealm. We will leave immediately. And we will join you. You are not Lin Kuei. You would only hinder the effort. Raiden and I are more than- We're trained differently. It takes years to master our ways. You and Raiden have my full confidence, but you are needed elsewhere. Go to the Wuxi. The monks must prepare you for war. The 
The only way in is over the walls. We must find a less guarded section before attempting an ascent. Finally, we face a worthy foe. Victory will bring us glory. Glory? We fight for duty. Does our father's ghost possess you? All I hear is his voice. We must honor his vision, Bihan. Vision is what he lacked. He was blind to our superiority. We settle for defending Earthrealm when we could help lead it. Our clan doesn't govern. It serves. That is our past. It won't be our future. against your kind. I have fought them tall ones. All Earth Realmers will soon know of Eternus. My realm starves, and it's coming here to feed. You will end this day hungry. What is this? We are charged with defending the fortress. None will escape us. You are Quan Chi's creation. Liu Kang warned about you. I had hoped for the chance to battle your dark magic. You are not so fearsome. You're both unharmed? We are, brother. Good. After our years of idleness, it pleases me to again face combat. I will be pleased when we complete our mission. oversee production of the remaining basins. That's Quan Chi. The other sorcerer Liu Kang described. Kuai Liang and I will capture him. Stay here. Do not let them activate the Soul Stealers.
will be spoils in this war. Let us win it first, brother. Steelers be completed on time, Quan Chi. Yes. Our benefactor's guidance has proven most helpful. If we break it, we'll halt their construction. Agreed. Sends no other way. Your failure was inevitable. This is so unnecessary. What I can offer you. You won't decline. Unless it's your surrender, I am not interested. I had hoped for a worthier enemy. to entertain my offer. How would you know what I value? We are strangers to each other. I know that you wish to break free of Liu Kang's control, to gain your clan unrivaled power. I offer the means to do both. Ignore him, brother. He promises only corruption. Grandmaster. I am sure you're asking yourself, can I afford to trust a man I have never met? But the true question you must ask is, can I afford not to? My realm and your clan have much in common. We both feel the pull of Liu Kang's leash. Once Outworld rules Earthrealm, you will be free to remake the Lin Kuei in any manner you see fit. Bihan, don't listen! We must stop them, not- Silence, to... Kuai Liang. But brother- Obey your Grandmaster. Can you win this war? Soul Stealers are deadly, but they're not enough. You only think so because you don't understand their true purpose. Explain. Emperor Ying built this fortress during one of Earthrealm's most turbulent periods. Enemies beset him on all sides. He built a great army to protect his empire. He built a second one to protect him in the afterlife. This is Emperor Ying's dragon army. <laughs> Impressive. But does this history lesson have a point? These statues were constructed and enchanted by the great mages in the Emperor's court.
They are animated by fragments of souls. Once alive, they fight tirelessly, unburdened by remorse or pity. As our ally, you will be given command of several battalions. Few in Earthrealm could then resist the Lin Kuei. Turn in his grave if he saw this. He was a doddering old fool. He did us a favor having that accident. And I was right to let him die. Let him die? You said you tried to save him. A lie. Because you couldn't and still can't face the truth. Father had doomed the Lin Kuei to mediocrity. Now, we will achieve greatness. <laughs> Neither of you are up to the task. Do not let Kwai Liang escape! Letting father die? Forsaking Earthrealm? He's abandoned all reason! I knew Bihan's frustrations ran deep, but I never thought they could inspire such madness. We can't let his corruption spread. Whatever it takes, I am with you. Thank you. We may not share blood, but we are brothers. Do your oaths mean nothing! It's your duty to obey my will! Not when it betrays Ling Kuei principles. We won't sacrifice them to serve your ambition! My fight. End this, brother. Embrace the future. I want no part of it. You pervert all that it means to be Lin Kuei. <laughs> you are my grandmaster no longer. What are you doing? Once he's exposed, won't you be made grandmaster? You forget Cyrax and Sector. Their loyalty to Bihan is absolute. They'll sooner abet his corruption than follow me. We must chart a new course. One that both honors our father's legacy and serves Earthrealm. Help me. We can't leave him here to aid Shang Tsung. <laughs> 